Hello everyone and welcome to our topic of the day. Today is August 7th and our topic is about wishing on a star. And I just want to say that, you know, it's always good to go outside to connect with the energy out there. Um, you know, I always try to pay attention to what's happening on a planetary level and see, you know, how things are shifting may impact me. Wish upon a star. Summer is a special time to observe the night sky. Tonight, when you look at the glowing universe above, find a star you are most drawn to and focus on it. See how it sparkles and sings. It is talking to you and connecting. It is spreading joy. Then with your hand on your heart, make a wish to that star. Think of it like setting an intention. You can do this aloud or silently. It could be, I wish for health, or I wish for a caring companion in my life, or I wish to find a job that's a good fit for my sensitivities. Don't hesitate to ask for your deepest desire. Be sure to just to make just one wish so it can shoot as straight as an arrow into the matrix of universal love. <laughs> Be like a child again. So this is about, you know, have, using imagination, being playful, being fun. Temporarily suspend any disbelief and connect with the enchanted forces all around you. This star is a friend that can grant your wish in the most beautiful way. Now setting the intention, I will make a wish on a star. I will stay open to all the invincible and invisible helping forces that can intervene. I am grateful for the loving assistance. So this is like another way to, you know, you know, in readings, I often tell people, connect with your angels and guides. Ask them, you know, and God the source, what you would like to achieve, what you, you would like to bring in. And that's just another way to do it in a fun way. Now, we're going to see, you know, I'm going to pull a couple cards for everybody. Just see what's a general energy. So again, uh, take what fits for you. And I'm going to use the same deck. The answer is simple because I'm still feeling drawn to that one. This one has a lot of psychology behind it. It's by uh, Sonia Chiquette. And she gives a lot of really detailed descriptions. So if you like Sonia, um, you could check out all of her decks. She has another good one called Ask Your Guides. So I'm just clearing the energy. I knocked on the cards, placing them over my heart. And I'm just asking, what do the angels want to say to everyone that will watch this? One from the bottom, one from the top. Okay, we have the card. The first one we'll go with is decorate. And this one can be about decorating your home, changing the way that things are. It can also be about decorating your soul. Um, doing things for yourself, doing more self-care. Let me uh, focus on this card a little bit more and see if there's anything the angels want to say in regards to it as well. They said that it is about um, people, you know, taking care of themselves and decorating their soul in a more beautiful way. Again, this could be about, you know, doing things in the home or in other parts of your life, making things more fun and festive. Think about how you can bring that energy in. Um, the other card that we have is accept love. And this might be a simple card where people are like, oh yeah, I, I get love. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not accepting love in? 
this is about love coming from all different areas. It's not just a relationship. So you can see, you know, sometimes uh, friendships can bring in a lot of love. Um, your work environment can be full of love. And um, your projects, your goals, um, things that you want to film or record can be full of love. Things that you want to do for your family, things that you want to do for the environment, the earth, for other countries, places all over the world. And this one can also be about thinking, I can only accept love from this person or this circumstance when really it's like you're blocking yourself from receiving from sometimes the source of all life your angels and guides so they said they want me to do like a prayer to bring in divine love so if you want to close your eyes and we're just opening our hearts calling in the angels and asking them to bring in divine love now i'm opening my heart to receive divine love Divine love is entering all parts of my life now, wrapping me in a cocoon of love. I am divinely connected. There is no separation. There is only love. A lot of people need that right now with things happening and they're worried and also, you know, all the social distance and the separation. Maybe in the physical world, it's like that, but universally, we're all connected. So just focus on bringing in divine love. Your angels are saying they want you to focus on divine love every night and bring it in. Call it in before you go to bed. Then that way you know, because sometimes uh, people will do these things before they go out in the world. And then people that need love, it's like, they'll suck it. They'll take it from you. They'll suck up that energy. But, um, you know, when you go to bed at night, you bring that energy in and then fall asleep in that energy. And you'll see it all make a difference in your next day. And I feel like that's all I want to talk about right now. So I'm going to stop. And I will be, um, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm posting this from my Facebook group. And I decided to start posting it on YouTube every day since I was already posting every day. All right, guys. Have a good night and take care.